Okay, I'm gonna open it. Oh, it's, it's a bit stiff. Okay, so there you go. <gasps> Woo! Look at that. that! Oh, that's cool. That is so fancy. Sean, <laughs> it's time to do your unboxing. Merry Vinnie Christmas, darling. Thank go you. on. Uh, so I don't know what this could be. Uh, I don't know either. Oh, I actually wow. don't know. It's on the Vinnie Christmas Elves. We're opening it in order. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. How do you wear it like this? Yes, I think so. <laughs> wear it forward. Oh, there we go. That's cool. Oh, uh, looks good. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so gorgeous. Okay. First one is Happy Holidays mug with my name okay. on it. Like, that Love is it. adorable. That is gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, bauble for the tree. And you know what? Our there you go. Everything's white on our tree, so I'll, I'll be allowed to put that on. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't be allowed. She'll, she'll let me do that. Uh, oh, that's gorgeous. Tree and cherry. Beautiful. I love it. Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. That is seriously so cool. Vinny loves you. Oh, my God. That is so cool. <laughs> right. Cheers, love. Cheers. Oh, my God. With my own face. Look at this. My avatar. And then on the back. Vinny loves the Recruiters Recruitment Podcast. That is brilliant. That is, <laughs> that is brilliant. Oh, brilliant. Christmas jumper. Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> See my face on it. <laughs> Love okay, it. And then we've got Vinny loves the Recruitment Mentals Podcast. I absolutely love that. Look at that. Oh, it's, it's you. Ah, Look at that! Oh, it's a bit like a football, a football goalie top. Uh, <laughs> Highly flammable. <laughs> wow. 2021, describe it in one word. Weird. And it went from knocking on death's door to like, just a market that no, nobody has ever seen before. The likes of which nobody could keep up with. And it's still still struggling to keep up with um so weird resilient if i'm honest not just for myself but also just showing how uh i think what we've been through just really shows how resilient we can be manic it's been manic for everyone for recruiters for clients for people that provide services to the recruitment industry relentless how my life changed the market's changed and it's just not not give up for a minute, has it? Like this year's been like, there's not been any downtime. Humbling, I think, for me personally, probably for a lot of people as well. I think it's been a leveler. This year's been a leveler where a lot of us have been put in the same boat. Growth. I think growth covers everything because as a sector, we are in growth mode. I think we've all grown as people. We've all understood what's important to us personally and professionally. So what would you say your highlights or key milestones of 2021 were? In in light of COVID, in response to COVID, um, I started with your, your very kind help, uh, uh, an initiative called the Recruiters Mentor Project. It reminded us as, as recruiters and as humans that we don't have to all hate each other and keep everybody at each other at arm's length. We can be friends in the community. We can support each other. We can mentor each other. We can uh, throw an arm around each other and, and help each other. I raised £40,000 for laptops in schools um, through the RAG podcast and your help. And, um, you know, we, I'm really proud of that. You guys donated and, you know, £40,000 off an idea where we got over 235 laptops into kids who didn't have them. I think highlight was definitely the uh, live podcast event. So it was just really nice to sort of make that happen where we brought loads of people together to share ideas, collaborate, talk about what we've learned. Women in Recruitment Asia Group is something that started off as being, oh, just be a little bit of a side project, you know. Um, I never realised the sort of, you know, how much there could be done within that group, really. We looked at the mentoring, we looked at creating a WEIR Academy. I think what was really exciting about WEIR was just the amount of recruitment firms that put their hands up just to say, yeah, we'll be part of that. I think for me, the, the main highlight has been the word that I just used to describe it. We have seen such phenomenal growth in our industry. Uh, we are at the forefront of innovation and people. Uh, we are a truly diverse industry and I think diversity and inclusion has been a key movement of, of 2021. Okay, Peter, 2021, 
Were you naughty or nice? Well, funnily enough, <laughs> you just called me Peter, right? The only person <laughs> who calls me Peter is my mother when I've been naughty, ironically. Um, but I think it goes without saying I've been nothing but nice. Is there any other way to be? Periods where I've been nice, but then there's been periods where I've been naughty. We are part of a community, generally, that is creating best practice about how to look after people. I always get asked, why are you only focusing on recruiters, right? Because that's what I set out to do. Like, I, I, to me, honestly, recruitment changed my life. It's building like-minded communities and sort of kind of showcasing what actually is involved and, you know, the, the kind of resilience that you need to be a recruiter. It's, it's yeah, it's important to me, hence, hence the podcast, hence, hence working with you. So I think that being part of a community, you can collaborate. We can raise each other up. It's about creating better standards. Just more collaboration, more sharing. Um, because I think, yeah, the, the more of that that we do, the, the better that we can become as a collective. Despite the, uh, despite the press, I do believe nice guys always win.